One word that has managed to trigger something in me ever since I've started butchering my brain with self-improvement content is the word routine. It would conceptually make sense. You do this activity on repeat every day and you'd get this advertised outcome. And for the most part, it can work. But still, every time I would try to think about letting my life abide by some mechanical concept, there would be this feeling of resistance. I would simply rationalize it as being a more creative, type B kind of guy. And that's what those kinds of people tend to do. Being perpetually stuck in a loop of being unorganized and undisciplined. But still, it felt like that's just using a broad explanation for something clear and concise, hiding in plain sight. Every time I would try to implement a routine, I would fail, thinking that it's not the system at fault, but me. Deep down though, my gut knew that cannot be right. That feeling went on until I got an ounce wiser and understanding where that feeling comes from revealed itself to me. And that understanding is this. Human beings seek comfort, uncertainty. But as we experience life, nothing is more certain than uncertainty. As you grow up, you have dreams and aspirations. The perfect job, the perfect house, the perfect partner. Only to realize that none of those things have manifested in the right way or the right order you have desired. We do X activity and it is programmed into us that the function we hope to have triggered will lead to Y outcome. You drink water, you get hydrated. You wake up early, you get ahead of everyone. You work hard, you get rich. These are all maps we have created to navigate the world. Except that the map is not the territory. One may drink water, but any sports person knows that water without electrolytes will leave you as dehydrated as before. One may get up early to get somewhere before everybody else, only to find out that everybody else has thought about the same thing as well. One may work hard their entire life to achieve financial freedom, only to find out that some kid playing Minecraft somewhere is making their yearly salary in a month by unknowingly seizing asymmetrical opportunities. The problem with following routines and protocols is that you are never guaranteed that they hold any weight in reality. But you are certain that they do, because that's what the commonly held belief is. Doing X will lead to Y. You are basing your existence into concepts that look real, feel real, rock solid, only to find out that they've been built on houses of cards and they are leading you astray. Certainty is a contract with yourself where you hope that by doing something you will get a certain outcome, only to be left disappointed when such a presumed outcome does not happen. Hope keeps one on a leash when there is no hope left, no outcome to be certain of. There are only opportunities to seize. Here's how I see self-help approach things. You gain certain mechanical knowledge, a function that is presumed to turn X into Y. And by applying that mechanical knowledge, you will get what you want. Except that outside of mechanical things like digging a hole, making soap, cooking a meal, building a keyboard, fixing a bike and so on. Fluid and complex things start to form and simple explanations that can easily be contained won't cut it anymore. We can never know anything for certain. Everything we know is only an approximation of reality. All we can ever do is get better and better explanations for reality. But there is another way to go about things. An unpopular, unfamiliar, unappealing at first way. It is unappealing because it requires something fundamentally ingrained in you to change. The need for certainty. Which is at the base of everything we do. This is the second way. A more holistic way. The way of no hope. The way of no disappointment. Living life with no hope for a certain outcome. Only a preference to be potentially seized once and if it reveals itself. You do not wish to force things. You don't swim against the river with force. 
thinking that it will lead you somewhere desired. You will tire quickly and get nowhere. That is the way of the routine and protocol. Instead, you foster an environment where such things you have a preference for have the chance to show up. And if they do, it's your choice to seize the opportunity or not. There is no hope for some desired holy grail you've created in your mind, keeping you on a leash. Only a big garden with a lot of colorful flavor to pick from. Now I will not let you go without a concrete, non-abstract example. Writing the script for this video. When someone gets an idea to write about, they set their goal to finish that essay, article or book. At first, I got an idea for a video and I started fostering the right environment to write about such an idea. I then would go on a long walk in the park with the goal to write on that exact topic. Except that, on that walk, that didn't happen. And instead, a much better idea got control of my mind. Now, a disciplined person would try to force the mind into writing about the old topic. That was the goal after all. But a mind that is let to run free, with only preference but no hope for an outcome, will seize the new opportunity as it reveals itself. Certainty is the way of force trying to force a behavior into a desired outcome, forcing fruit in the garden to get ripe during winter. Naturally, you pick fruit when the opportunity shows itself to you, not when you desire it to get ripe. What you can do is foster the right environment where such opportunities have a chance but are not guaranteed to show up. Not through force, but through understanding the right mechanisms that will potentially lead to such opportunities to reveal themselves. One could try building a greenhouse and through the right understanding of plant biology, you could get ripe fruit in the winter. But that is never certain. It's just a possibility. At first I was reluctant to this kind of thinking. I stumbled upon this new paradigm by listening to Jim O'Shaughnessy one of my favorite online boomers. That I like to consider one of my parasocial mentors. Well, hello everyone, it's Jim O'Shaughnessy with yet another Infinite Loops. Jim is a great investor that has been taught uncertainty directly through the markets. In the markets, money is lost where certainty is assured. Being comfortable with the thought that your planning may not lead to a desired outcome brings the ability to seize what is present right in front of you. Problem is that this understanding will not get into the bloodstream without first tearing down the beliefs ingrained in us. And for that, nobody can help you. It is something you are either strongly against or are ready and willing to come see for yourself. And that's all on you. Cheers for watching. Follow me on threads and Twitter, or X, or whatever the fuck Elon is all about.